Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we're going to give all praise to the honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. The honor to the elder apostle, the great millstone, who ruled well. Salutation, much love to the elect of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Brothers from uh, Great Millstone, Dallas. I'm brothers from Great Millstone, Tampa. Here, and you're going to go through the spirit of the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. You know, we chopping it up before the video. You know, so we just gonna flow it through the spirit, but you know we can start with being circumspect, you know, and see where the spirit takes us. Because uh, a lot of Jakes out there just walking aimlessly around this earth, you know. Even if you know you're an Israelite, you need to understand what time we're living in. And what, and what matter of fact, Bobby Sharks might get that uh, uh, These adversaries. adversary, the devil, Bobby Sharp, because we're living in times that the, the the pressure is about to come down upon you. Okay, you your faith is going to be tried, and you need to be moving in the spirit okay there's no other word there's no other phrase for it. you need to be moving in the spirit and, and recognizing your your surroundings mm -hmm. realize the times you're living in because well whoever got this preset because yeah. this this preset says it all man go ahead god this is the book of uh first peter chapter five and i'll start right here at verse um first peter five and verse eight in kjb it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, so, so Satan already got the, these bug outs in the world. The ones honking the horn at you. You know, fucking with you at your job. Satan already got them. Now Satan is trying to get you. Get you out of the spirit. Get you out of your character. Get you out of your mission. Okay, see if you will, will, will just throw in the towel. So you need to recognize what what, what what you've been called to, man. Remember what happened with Yahweh Shai. Even Satan himself came to tempt the Lord. Who are you? The Lord said that no, the servant is not greater than his master. Bible Shai, read that in the NLT. God. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 in the NLT. <coughs> it says, stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the so devil. Stay alert. You need to stay alert, man. Don't just be walking around as if, 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 if as we in the kingdom, you know. Right. Right. You need to realize that we're behind enemy lines, and anybody can be an agent at this point. Okay, a woman, <coughs> uh, a man, it doesn't matter. Anybody can be an agent to poke at you to see what you're going to do. And ultimately, it's an agent from Yahweh sent by Yahweh by Shmuel. So I see what you're going to do, right? You, here it is. You praying for patience, where well, you think that one day. You gonna wake up and you got patience? No, the Lord's gonna set you in situations up to prove you if you have patience, mm -hmm. or for, for a, a presented situation so you can learn to have patience. Mm -hmm. So you need to be alert. Mm -hmm. Know what's know what's going on. Know that this is ultimately all from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, but know that He's using the left hand side to poke at you. So you need to be alert. We're watchmen, right? What did watchmen do? Just chilling at the time? Right. No. They, they alert. They're watching everything, being circumspect, in other words. Mm -hmm. And what's that church in uh, Revelations? But now they got comfortable. What was it? Oh, man. I, I know. Uh, I what think it was like this year. It was one of the churches. Oh, man. I I get you. It, it was one of them churches that got blacks. And uh, they was up there at the top watching for, for the Romans to come. And then one, one of the watchmen dropped his helmet. Yeah, went down. And went down to go get it. But the mm -hmm. Romans was watching him out and seeing which way he came down and went back up. Damn, okay. Yeah. Damn, yeah. That's, 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 that's another thing, that's man. Yeah, yeah, you got be, be circumspect, man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Esau, Esau is a serpent. Mm -hmm. You know, he's watching. You know, you got to be very particular about your steps in these last days, man. Right. Even though the Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is on our side, of course. But don't be a simpleton. That's not an excuse right. to be a simpleton and, and living your life lackadaisical. You know, doing what you want to do, being ignorant of your surroundings. You need to pay attention to everything. You're not only watching the prophecies, you're watching for the flock. Right. Okay? Right. right. I got that word uh, alert for you in the definition. Uh, this simply Googling the word alert, it says quick to notice any unusual and potentially dangerous or difficult circumstances. Right, so you should be quick to identify these yep. things. All right? If it's something's unusual, then you should be able to identify it. Because what? We live simple lives. 
If something's unusual, it's like if you, you don't, here it is, you've been, you're driving home from work, you drive six miles home to work, and six miles to and fro, just whatever. If you, you don't notice the van following you, you're not being circumspect. You know, you're not looking in your mirrors. It, it, we were talking before the video, most people don't, not paying attention to anything. Right. They driving, la la la, listening to the radio, and boom, slamming to somebody, because they're not paying attention. So you need to be, that's why you got mirrors in your car so you can look around your car, right? Right. You don't have to snap your neck to look back. You got mirrors on the car. Yep. And that's, really that's the body, but you know, you, you should be able to, because to, you're not always around the brotherhood, but you should always be examining your situation. Right. Don't be a simpleton, man, because that's how niggas get killed in the world, right? So what, you think Esau don't use these tactics to follow you and, and you know, it, it, some, he might send someone to your, uh, to you to be buddy buddy with you, right. but that, wouldn't that be that? Ain't that something that should alert you, right. right? Somebody being friendly all of a sudden that you don't know who the hell they are. Even a woman, especially a woman, especially, right? Here it is. You ain't got no. You ain't never got no bitches. All of a sudden, this bitch wants you. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to get side eye. Yeah, <laughs> the red flag. <laughs> Hello. Right. Get side eye. Like, Not oh. saying you know hey, you can't deal with women, but. Use your head and not the one downstairs. Right, gotta redeem the time, man. Mm -hmm. Cause at the time of turning it on fucking family here, we had a time of war. But at the time for everything, things to be born, just that the third, now we're in a time of war. Right. That's the sound of battle in the land, man. Mm -hmm. Things about to ramp up, you know. God, I got something on myself. Ephesians 5 and 15, and just land back off what the priest said. This is says, see, see then now that you walk circumspectly, and not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're in that latter end time right now, like the priest is talking about. Evil mean what? A bad time. This is a time that went right now. So even brothers that are coming into his thing, or those you offer off, often that are tuning in, Christmas scriptures talk about making them a quick understanding. Why? Because the Lord is getting ready to wrap this thing up, man. Right? You see all these judgments that are taking place here. You see, right now, the Bible is the hugest talk, is, is the biggest talking point in social media. You can't scroll three or five times without seeing someone breaking out the scriptures, whether correctly or in an error. Why? Because we're in those times right now. Scripture talks about knowledge and wisdom will be the stability, keeping your mind stable in the evil days that are approaching that we're entering into right now. Right? So being circumspect and watching your family, your friends who you hang around, the shit you say on the phone, shit you post, everything, man. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Come, right? Yeah, how was Shai say what he needed to say? He didn't say more or less. Right. And sometimes he wouldn't say anything. Sometimes silence is better than saying anything. Right. You need to be wise, man. It's time to quit the BS, man. It's not about being a YouTuber. We're not YouTubers. We're not social content creators. We're right. not. Right. Look, we're prophets, or, or the Lord's will. Yeah. You know, these other guys, that's what they do. Right. Let them be the social, uh, uh, so like social content creators, man. Right. Let them be. Let them do that. That's their job. Right. We're not looking for thumbs up gimmick. We're mm -hmm. not doing gimmicks. We don't care if you like it or not. Right. We're just messengers, all right? But it, it, uh, get, Bob, shall I get the word circumspect? Yeah. Johnson. You got it? Well, I don't got it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab it here, right here. And, and this goes for you, you sisters as well, okay? Because we were talking about this, which we're gonna bring it up. Yeah. Your sisters need to be circumspect as well, man. And if you have a man that's in his truth, you need to listen to him. And if you don't have, if you have a man that's not in his truth, you still gotta listen to him. Yeah. But listen, listen. And be and, and beware of where you put yourself in positions, okay? Mm -hmm. Beware of your surroundings, just like the men need to be aware, all right? We're going to bring it out here in a bit. There's some fucking weirdos out here, man. Right, right. And, and they're looking for an opportunity to grope you up, yep. if not more. Yep. Go ahead, though. This is a G199 um, in a blue letter, and it's acri Acribos. And it is uh, exactly accurate or diligently. You need to be diligent. Right. You need to be diligent in knowing your surroundings, your situation. Let me grab the root for that. It says, that's careful. how you, so like, that's how you, how was I was able to uh, 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 escape certain situations because he was circ he was circumspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was observing the people. Mm -hmm. it, it, of course, he was a mind reader, but he was observing the people. Right. Some of you need to learn some body language, man. Right. <laughs> you know, because right. right. that's the best way to observe. Because yeah. Yeah, you can you can run your mouth all day, but I'm watching what your body is showing me. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to skate out the back door. Because a nigga, a nigga will, uh, uh, I've seen niggas act before they pull out the gun. Right. And they always do the same certain things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
So you see certain movements, you get you get up out of there. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Like right, he about to pull the strap. Let me get out of the situation. And then people counting this too. Yeah. I'll be watching people face this person. Like, but that's right. body language. Right. Body right. Language. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like okay. I just got too sharp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Watching. Can I get a quick one for you? Okay. Anybody. Sirach right. right. nineteen and uh, twenty nine. A man may be known by his look, mm-hmm. and one that have understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait and show what he is. The point being is, is, is look at people, man. You know, because most communication is body language. Right. I believe it. You know, I studied this back in the world, and I studied a little more in the truth. But most communication is body language, and it, it, that's especially true with women. Yeah. But even with men. You could say one thing, but I'm reading your body language. I know you're lying to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can say, yeah. And I'll, I'll even agree with you. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. And I know you're lying to me. Yeah. Right. Because I'm reading your body language. And most people don't ha- ha- know how to read body language. Right. You know, there's a lot of things that people do that's subconscious. Which we ain't, ain't got to go into it. But the point is being circumspect. Learning how to read the room, so to say. Right. You know, know where you need to be and where you don't need to be. Don't put yourself in situations you don't need to be in in the first place, especially in these times. Knowing the times, right? That's right. What right. times are we living in? Are we living right. in the times to be hanging out, going to the car, uh, uh, to, the, to the clubs, right. hey, having a good old time, going to the parades? Woo! No. Because any day now, shit's going to hit the fan and it's going to be everyone for themselves, unless you, you be protected by your how about shooting outside. The hedge of protection pursuing the uh, uh, Psalms 34. That's what you need to be concerned about, not the party life and chasing bimbos. Right. They're gonna start chasing you soon if you if you're a sincere man of the Lord. And I'm not talking about bimbos. Well, even yeah, even bimbos though, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, scriptures say a harlot shall enter into the kingdom. Mm-hmm. But that's not that's irrelevant. That's just a, a byproduct of serving the Lord. Right. We're, we're we're occupied in prophecy and what Yahweh Bashim Shai said. What we need to be doing. Our, right. We're like how much I said. Know you now. I'm about my father's business. And that, and what's if, if if we're running a business? What do we need to be? We need to be circumspect when we run this business. Keep going on that, Bible Strong. That circumspect. You still got it? Oh yeah. Uh, just the definition. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. Uh, Are you in the blue letter? Yeah, I'm in the blue okay, letter. Okay. You get the strong as well. You want in the blue letter, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Get the strong definition. Yeah, go. All right, circumspectly. It is um, G199, and it's Acribos. Acri- it's, uh, I'll get it, the, the root of it is exact. To no, be no, careful. Go back, go back to the original, go. get the strong definition. Yeah, scroll down a little bit. Go on, what's up? You know, because that, that's, that's what we're here for, man. You know, because that's what the Lord showed us, how to be circumspect. The Yahweh shot was cold with it, you know? He was sliding out of there and nobody would even know. Again, being wise as serpents yeah. and harmless as doves. You know, we're not out here to do get out. I have to get to that point that if we gotta do we get you gotta do what you gotta do, but we out here to be harmless as doves, but wise as serpents is the is the point, man. Right. You know, and they plus the bar hits on that all the time, man. You know, the highest level of wisdom is, is what? The serpent. Yep. Or the uh, the dragon. Right. If I can also add, you know, uh scripture says <coughs> Well, this truth is also likely when you read uh, Isaiah the forty third chapter. It speaks about how the dragon and the owl shall honor the Lord. Mm-hmm. Well, that's ultimately code for the truth because uh, you know dragons, serpents are known. Yeah, they're yeah. known for their wisdom, for their cunningness, and owls is known for what? Being circumspect. And they can, see, of, they can see in the dark. Right. right. Yeah. And, and one of the the supernatural strengths that the Lord endowed them with is like they can literally turn their head three sixty, man, yeah. and then they see in the night. So that's why this truth is likened to you know uh, an owl or right. or a dragon. You know, and, that, and Esau turns this upside down. Obviously, you know he uses that to, but it's the left hand side and the right hand side. I mean, the right hand side is more powerful. You know, the Bohemian Grove and all that. The, yeah. You know, he just taking that from the right hand side. Yeah, it's all coming like we were saying earlier. It all comes from the Yahweh. Ultimately, it all comes from Yahweh. Right. It, but just like in in ancient Egypt, 
Yeah, uh, most generic did miracles, and they—they they, what the Egyptians do? They went to go get some scallywags to recreate things. Mm -hmm. But it got to a certain point where they couldn't recreate it no more. Mm -hmm. right. I want to show you the right hand side is always greater than the left hand side. Mm -hmm. right. Those are the strongs you try. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It's exact, circumspectly, diligent, perfect, or there perfectly. Right. Diligent and perfectly, man. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we're not saying you need to be perfect in the sense that you you, you have a shot, right. but the perfect mindset, mm -hmm. diligent. What are, what are you concerned with, right? Like Peter said in the book of Peter, uh, uh, chapter First Peter chapter three is it? The Second Peter chapter three. What manner of, of, of life yeah. ought you to be in? Yeah. In all, yeah. Yeah. Right. In all holy conversation. Yeah. What are you concerned about? What what lifestyle are you living? What are you focused on? Uh, have you forsaken all? I got you right here. Good. Second Peter's when we get an NLT. Are you good? Yeah. yeah. 2 Peter chapter 3 and 11 in the NLT. Since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives you should live? Right. What, what kind of life should you be living? Mm -hmm. Knowing that all this is going to be destroyed, evaporated at, it, it, into oblivion, never to be seen again. Right. And you're focused on getting a 401k? You, 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 you're thinking about a, a, a five-year plan. You're thinking about this car, that car, or this house, or this woman, right. or whatever bullshit Jay got going on, you know, going to the NBA. Are you serious? Here it is, uh, the economy in America's collapsing. Nations are dumping the USD. Yep. Everybody's social security number just got hacked. Right. Yep. Which that go, really, it, it, that, that's what they said. Yeah. That's what they said, yeah, but really is they transferred it to the cloud. That's right. what really what it was. Mm -hmm. They yeah. transferred your social security number to the cloud, so when the chip comes, it's already on there. And if I could they talking about his hacks. So so I was gonna say if I could add because is that right there. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, and he says, well, uh, has it, have they transferred it to the cloud? Well, that's Esau. Okay, showing himself to be the man of sin, sitting in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. That's one aspect of it because who's known to be working in the cloud? The Lord. You know, uh, 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 what was, okay, Yahweh over, well, what was Yahweh in when he was giving information to right. Moses, the mediator? Mm -hmm. He was in the cloud. Mm -hmm. You know, so Esau, pretty much him, using this term, the cloud, okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty much him saying, listen, I'm God, mm -hmm. and all this information is going to be coming from me and my cloud. And who was his angels? The AI. Right. The AI sees everything. It's not like a nigga on YouTube that works for YouTube sitting behind the computer flagging your videos. No, it's AI doing all that. And then you have tablets. The tablets that have, it gets the information from the cloud, and then you yep. got your tablet. Just like Moses and the. Yep. So come on, man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure. He saw he's AI artificial. He's an artificial god. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he's generic. He's trying to do everything that the Most High doing, but it's not the Most High. It's everything is generic in what he does. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. so, you know, that's why you know when you go into that service space, you don't have. Jake out here looking around and seeing what he actually is doing, you know, being that, that circumspect because these days are evil, they still trying to live in their murder. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why when you're doing, uh, that was uh, speech in 5 and 15, you're going to 14, you go into what? Awake that thou, thou that sleepest, mm -hmm. all right? You're asleep, that's meaning what? When you go into that word awaken, uh, Ephesians 5 and 14 goes like to, mm. I think one of the definitions like uh, awake, uh, arouse from the dead. All right, so that's what, like you say, uh, Proverbs 21. You know, those that are uh, wandering away from understanding is going to what? Remain in the congregation of the dead. So you just, that's why the Lord gave us the outside, the outside of the sea and start seeing these things and the call them out to be the watchman, it says in Ezekiel 3. Be the watchman and give warning to Israel. But the Lord is going to keep a lot of them blind. Yeah, and that's why people, like you, you mentioned, uh, that's why these people are chasing the dream. Why? Mm -hmm. How the fuck are you gonna chase a dream unless you're asleep? Right, right. You can only chase a dream when you're asleep. Right. That, and that's what they got you on. They got you on the hamster wheel of a dream. You know, right. the uh, hamster wheel of lies. Mm -hmm. And like the brother said, it's all it's, it's all artificial. It's all synthetics, right? Yep. So now he got artificial intelligence. Well, the real AI is autonomous intelligence, but he got synthetic drugs. Uh, GMO, GMO, every everything yeah. is GMO. Mm -hmm. Everything is GMO, synthetic. Cause what he's trying to be here as the Most High. That's the Thessalonians. He sits in the seat as the Most High, you know, cause he wants to be here as the Most High. And he, he the last step is to put a, a, a device in you, you yep. know. Yep. Yeah, the last step is to put a device in you, so he knows he can be the all knowing 
guy. Right. He knows how many times you flush the toilet, mm-hmm. you turn the sink on, he knew that. You turn the flat, uh, a flashlight on, yeah. then you turn, and whatever you do, he gonna know. Right. If I can add, as uh, the beloved elder Apostle Tahar has said, well, he mentioned it quite often, if I remember uh, in one video in particular, maybe about a month ago, he has said, really, you know, uh, the, the MOTB is really the most highest mark, you know? Because mm-hmm. basically, it's the Lord giving, putting, a, allowing Esau, okay, put a physical indicator on, okay, those who belong to this world. Yep. On the left hand side. It's on the, the left hand side. Because yeah. there's a right hand, a right hand mark, mm-hmm. and there's a yeah. left hand mark. Mm-hmm. You know, there, there's a mark for exemption of, of the judgment that the Most High is going to bring, and then there's a, a mark on the left hand side that the Most High is going to bring upon you. You know, it's, it's not difficult to understand. It's not the set of stuff or sleeping with white women or embargoes right. or sins. You know, know sin. Right. You know, like you, you, come on, man. Everybody sins. We the scriptures tell you that. But then again, they discredit Paul, so right. maybe they don't believe in that. Right. You know, because yeah. all sin that comes short of the glory of the Most High. Right. But a lot of people say that Paul's writings aren't even a, a, a authoritative. Right. Yeah. Then they'll go around and quote him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It reads, and that knowing the time that which these times are what? Uh, 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 as the scriptures say, uh, perilous times, evil days. You know, Jacob's told us on his way, man. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right. it, it, I mean, this is 2024. If, if, if you can't see what we're talking about, you better hope right. somehow, some way, the Lord's going to deal with you when shit hits the fan. Because right. if you can't see what we're talking about now, after and we've been talking about these things for years, beginning with the elder apostles on down, decades. Mm-hmm. If you can't see it now, man, it's going to take some scary shit to shake you up to actually believe these things. Hey, the water you have with Baha'i Shemiyah we sitting right. here in this room. We believe before we see it, and that's what right. the Lord said unto Thomas. Listen, they that have not seen and believe. Right. We ain't had to see all these things happen, which you're seeing happen. Right. We've been talking about like people. Every, now everybody's a prophet on YouTube. Everybody got the answers. World War Three, right. this and that, right. the MOT. Everybody, yeah. all of a sudden, everybody got sh- shut the fuck up. Right. We've we been saying these things. It's time right. for you people to shut up, right. and that's how we know it's controlled opposition. But go ahead, brother. No, I'm just gonna. Can I? I'm gonna read in the NLT. This is uh, uh, Romans 13 and, and 11 in the NLT, and it reads, This is all the more urgent for you. Ooh. Know how late it is. <coughs> Time is running out. <laughs> Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. You can't, mm-hmm. Hey, that's self-explanatory. You ain't got to break that down. Right. The Lord is letting you know it's time to quit messing around with bullshit, man. You know, it's time to get on your game. You know, understand what's going on. Circumspectly, they've been breaking that word down. Mm-hmm. Circum, circle, speckly, specs, I, you know, glasses, you know, to look, to see. 360, looking around all the time and noticing what's going on around you, man. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the time that we're in, those perilous times, those evil days, you know, Jacob's trouble coming down the pipe, which the Lord is bringing, by the way. You know what I'm saying? This is not, you know, Esau ain't, ain't, ain't Esau. It is a is a vessel for the Lord just like everything else. You know, nobody is doing their own thing. Proverbs, what's that, 21 and 1? Mm-hmm. You know, the, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, turn with so we will. You know, if there is no free will. The most high is controlling everything, including Esau. Yeah. So everything that Esau is about to bring at the end of the day is the Lord bringing it, man. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to rid two-thirds of his people, which is already prophesied to die in Zechariah 13 and 8, man. You know what I'm saying? The prophecies have to come to pass. The Lord's word. You know, he tells you that in, in, in Isaiah uh, 55 and 11, my, his word shall not come back to him void, but it shall accomplish the thing whereto he uh, ascends it, man. You know what I'm saying? And he tells you, man, he, can't, he, he is a man that he cannot lie. Right. So these things have to happen or he's the very liar that he said he can't be. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's all that's going on. These prophecies come to pass is the, is, is the Lord's words. And in fact, you have some No, no, come on. Just to add on what you're saying, it's beautiful because as the priest said, you know, there was a time, you know, that's why, you know, you know, we, we give devil honors to the, to the elders and apostles, man, that we've been pushed this thing for so long. Scriptures talk about how, you know, we will enter into another man's labors. You think the times that they were in it, you know, 20, 30 years ago, these things weren't popping off then like that, like then, right? The scripture talks about the time of our ignorance, he winked at it, right? But now he demands all to come. Why? Because these things are happening. You got no excuse now, right now. When all the things that are happening here at a rapid rate, we can't even keep up with the news and the things that are going on out here. It's just back to back to back. These things are coming and they're not slack, right? 
So again, now is the time to, to, to wake up. The Lord is making sure you have no excuse, no cloak for your covering when things really get ready to turn up out here, man. If, if you're not leading a life of fear right now, you are in the congregation of the dead. Yeah. All right, it's Proverbs, it's like the Proverbs 22 and uh, 3 in the GNT. Sensible people will see trouble coming and avoid it. Mm -hmm. Sensible people. Are you being sensible right now? Are you actually watching? Are you perceiving what's going on on the earth? Because if you are, then you should know there's some evils are coming. Right. And that's why we've been spiritually preparing. Because you look, you can go to the gym and bench 500 pounds. That don't mean a damn thing. Mm -hmm. yep. You can go run 68 miles in one day. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> are you spiritually prepared for what's coming? Because a lot of mighty men are going to fold and cry bitterly. All right. All right. Go ahead, though. Hey, the scriptures tell you on animals that the, uh, what is that, the, the the quickness or the speed shall, shall uh, 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 depart from the swift, you know what I'm saying? The that is mighty. Man, real quick, bro. Slide, man. Slide like this, man. Real quick, bro. Man, that's the point, man. You, the only way to prepare for this, you can't prepare for something that's never happened. Pursuing with Jeremiah 30 and 7. This is a time like no other. Yeah. It never will, it never has, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Amos 2 and 14. Therefore, the flight shall perish from the swift. Mm. And the strong shall not strengthen his force, neither shall the mighty deliver him, deliver himself. So, like you know, like you, like the brother was going into, man. It don't matter if you can, you know, you can run a, you know, <laughs> you can run a forty in, in, in five seconds, man. Right. You see, or you can bench, you can bench five hundred pounds with twenty times, bro. That, that, that's not going to deliver you, all right. What's going to deliver? Like the scriptures say, uh, uh, wisdom delivereth from death, man. Mm. You see? Ooh, the yeah. scriptures say that. Uh, that a wise man is better than uh, uh, yeah, roughly compared to their mighty men, you know. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, real quick, going back to that proverbs, proverbs twenty two and three in the GNT. Sensible people will see trouble coming and avoid it, but unthinking per but an unthinking person will walk right into it and regret it later. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what's about to happen to these people, man. They're not thinking. The only thing that they're thinking about is uh, you know furthering themselves and wickedness, man. You see, and establishing themselves in America, thinking that society is going to continue, man. You know, thinking that this place is gonna continue, could continue forever. When you look out into the earth, everything is, is in shambles, man. Right. You see, wars, war, you see famine. All right, these, these weather patterns, all these are signs, man. And these, these people are still not, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are still not getting it, man. You see, that's why Yahweh Shah said what he said, man. You can you can discern when it's gonna rain, man. You see, but you know, you can't tell what time you win. There's danger all around. Yeah, you see? The black woman, you know, these women talking about, you know, these damn, uh, uh, you know, Is Ismaelites, man, following them and trying to kidnap in the stores, but you can't tell what time you in, man. Right. You see, rent is going up, people are getting evicted at an all-time high, mm -hmm. people losing jobs at an all-time high, but you can't tell what time you in. Right. Businesses are closing at an all-time high, but you can't tell what time you in, man. That sensible man, if I can add, represents a prudent man. Can you read that one more time, my thought? Come, gotcha. Proverbs 22 and 3 in the GNT, sensible, sensible people will see trouble coming and avoid it, but an unthinking person will walk right into it and regret it later. And I want to follow that with this. It's Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. And it reads, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, man. You know, mm -hmm. so everything the Quran just broke down, man, you know, a, 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 a prudent man, which is a wise man, you know, Foresee the evil, man. You know, he's going to be circumspect. He's going to be redeeming the time. He's going to be paying attention to what's going on, man. And he's going to hide himself. He's going to, which at the end of the day, the Lord has to, you know what I'm saying, ultimately hide, you know, that, that being hid is going to come uh, within the Lord, uh, which we're in the secret place of the Lord. This one is uh, Psalms, what's that, 91? You know what I'm saying? Being within this knowledge, you know, calling on the names. You know what I'm saying? And that, 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 that that's the, well, you said the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going the hell would you bug out right. saying the name in the corner? The name is a strong tower, Proverbs right. what, 18? 18 and 10. Yep. Yep. Come on, man. Yep. Where are you going to run? Right. Oh, you don't got to run nowhere. You run to the name of the Lord, though. Yep. And that, that, that consists of what? Calling upon him. Exactly. Because we're all, I'm sure, brothers, all brothers here got camps where they, all they had to do was call upon the name of Yahweh Bosh and they got delivered. Uh -huh. So how much more on their time in our trouble? Yep. You know, right. here it is. We got AC, we chilling, we got lights on, mm -hmm. and we call upon the name of the Lord, and He delivers us. How much more in our time of trouble? When we right. ask, right. when we, not actually, but when we really need Him. Because we're entering a time where there is no other way out, man. Right. You don't understand a sensible man, right? Mm -hmm. 
See, we're sensible. We know what's coming. These, this devil got some weaponry that you ain't ready for, man. He got some draconian measures. You not ready for it. You living your Maybach life and then driving around the block and then eating at such and such spot, whatever. Man, there's gonna come a time where you gonna have to fight for your next meal. That's right. A sensible man would will see that coming though. A prudent man will see that coming. Hide himself where. In the, in the secret place. In the, in the, the I got a couple of things. Not only fight, but possibly fight to the death. Exactly. You see? Yeah. 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 Oh, you're going to fist this up like it's 1950. Right. No, you're going to have to put a man yeah. to death. Yeah. And, yeah. Ma and maybe you're going to have to put a couple men to death right. just yeah. to eat a slice of bread or yeah. a bottle of water. Yeah, a simple trip to the grocery store is going to become life and death. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that would be the first few days that yeah. the shit hit the fan. Because yeah. soon right. after that, the grocery store is gonna be empty. Where do you think they're gonna go next? Up to your house. Oh, yeah. oh, God. I got a quote for you. Oh. Okay. This uh Psalms 116 and verse 3. The sorrows of death come past me, and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashima was shot. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Yep, so just going back into, um, you know, what the preacher just, uh, was going into, man. You know, the times that, you know, quite frankly, we're already in, and especially the times that we're about to come into, all we're going to have is literally, you know, this truth. You know, and, the, and what comes along with that on the chief priorities is having the names, man. Listen, that's going to be believers that's going to be delivered. That's going to be a lot of believers that's going to be delivered that don't know all the breakdowns. Right. But what do they have? They have the breath and they have the name. Right. That's all we need. As a matter of fact, I got one more. Psalms 124 and verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Hey, slug it. And that's going to be our job to give him the name of the Lord. Right. They don't need to know the breakdowns. You yeah. think the people, here it is, Jake, mid Jacob Trouble. People get shipped off to World War III. There's some random person that comes across you and sees you do a miracle. He don't need to know the breakdown of Daniel chapter 8. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. He just need to believe. Mm -hmm. And John 17 tells us that. People are going to believe on what we say, yep. okay? Everybody is not a teacher. Everybody's not a prophet. That's our jobs. Yep. The brothers got to understand that. Don't force things mm -hmm. down people's throat. Mm -hmm. right. That's not. It's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Maybe they was at one point. But, hey, most high have mercy on whom he will. Yeah. There's going to be more believers than prophets. Know. You know, there's 144,000 and then a great multitude. They just wanted to add that in there, you know? Yeah. You got it, bro. Uh, Psalms 124, and verse 8. It says, Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah Shah, who made heaven and earth. You know, so as you have these particular Israelite uh, camps, particularly IUIC, that's saying that we don't have the names, or you call them Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, whatever. Okay, they're literally taking away your help, man. Right. You know? But at the end of the day, as Yahweh Shah said it, okay, he says, None of my sheep are lost. Right. All that the Father had given me, I have lost none. You know, so anybody that's still following his madness, hey, that's just up between you and the Lord. You know, if you're part of the elect, he'll get you out in due time. You know, but as for us, like what did Joshua say? As for us, <laughs> me and my household, we're going to serve Yahweh. Choose you this day. Yeah, yeah. Choose you this day. She do, she do go astray. Yep. Yeah. But they, they, you got to go out. To, that's the shepherd's job to go get them. So, you know, just because a sheep go astray, don't mean they're not still part of the flock. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you you might have certain individuals in these other camps that are currently following these bug outs. That don't mean they're not part of the flock, though. That's why, you know, we still have to have mercy. The Lord showed us how to deal. Right. You know, he showed us the compassion and mercy. So we got to deal with that. You know, if you don't show mercy, how do you expect to get mercy? Right. But not saying don't be a, a simpleton. You, you you should be able to extrapolate what I'm saying here. Go ahead. I was gonna say that's what. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, I was just gonna say that's why Yahweh Shah said what he said. You know what I'm saying? On, on, when he was being crucified, told the Lord, the Father, you know, forgive them. They know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Members of it's gonna be the meaning. There was gonna be men and you know men and women amongst that crowd that was gonna repent. You see, even with Stephen, when Stephen got stoned, yeah. he said the same thing. Why? His power was in the mix. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. because just back on what the brother was saying, man, you got you got to let members amongst. Amongst these different camps at this, at this time right now, but the Lord eventually will bring them out. Will come to a point to where they will eventually come into the fold. You yeah, know? Everybody's faith is not the same. There's levels to this thing. Like Apostles been saying for years, mm -hmm. there's levels to this. Everybody's not on the same level. 
You know, we not on the same level as the apostles. Right. So what makes you think these people watching YouTube videos are on the same level as us? Right. Exactly. And when you, have, have, you, got, you got, I was gonna say, and like you know, as you said, you know, uh, this is this is mercy. You know, as the Lord still has his you know ministry flowing out with free course. You know, our apostles, you know, do the rebuke videos. We do the rebuke videos upon these other camps because that's literally the act of the Lord getting his sheep, you know, out of these particular camps, mm -hmm. okay? Because when you consider a shepherd, you know, uh, pulling a sheep back into a barn that was led astray, he gets that rod, he gets that hook, and he snatches it. It's not a it's not a comfortable process. Sometimes he walks with the cross of the head. That's why David says, that, that rod and that staff, it comforts me. What's the rod and the staff? These scriptures, man. So it's going to hit you hard. You know, but it's going to get us back in order. Repent. You know? Yeah, because Jacob makes sure repent. Correction. Got to course correct, bro. And sometimes a, a shepherd has to lead a flock to go get one sheep. Yeah. And guess what? The angels rejoice over one man that repents. You know, like that. Mm -hmm. And then 99 that are righteous. For the fair I got that fair before you. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 11. So, like in Matthew 18 and verse 11. For the Son of Man has come. To save that which was lost. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, does he not leave the ninety and nine? Yeah. And Sometimes you gotta get out of the comfort zone. Sometimes you gotta go out and find that sheep. You know, through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm telling you go door to door or nothing like that. <laughs> right. you know, go ahead, though. God, it says, does he not leave the ninety and nine and go with into the mountains? And seeketh that which is gone astray. Have you ever climbed a mountain? That shit ain't easy. <laughs> Not a, a walk in the park, okay? But for that one sheep, it must be done. Because that's part of the flock of the of Yahweh Shem outside. And we're shepherds. The Lord said no shepherds. Alright? We're not just here to hold signs and you know bring out a precept here and there. The Lord's setting up shepherds, leaders. Because why? Because there's gonna be a great influx right, right, of believers. Right. And maybe they have to see a miracle. So what? Yeah. They're still going to believe? Right, right. It's not up to us who's going to believe and who's not. That's why you got to be very careful the way you deal with people, man. Because mm -hmm. hey, you all came in at a different time. Exactly. Well, same you was same. a bug out in the world. Right. right. You right. Know? Maybe the believers are still a bug out yeah, right no. now. Right. As right. what yeah. we're saying, the 22nd of August, yeah. 2024, there's still bug outs right now that are going to be saved. Well, you know? Bugging out right as we speak tonight, gonna bug out tonight, and they still gonna be delivered. Right. Who are you to say otherwise? Right. That's right. Uh, Matthew, yeah, yeah, you yeah. got some Jay coming in struggling with stop smoking weed. Mm -hmm. that don't some mean brothers quit. Delivered, you know, some brothers quit like this. Two brothers a year, two or three down the road. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the Lord, know each spirit He created, yeah. and you know each spirit go quit. Don't they doing it in due time? Different, different measures. measures. Yeah. Different yeah. measures. Matthew, right. Jesus, right. Yeah. 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 four and twenty. I believe. Yep. Everybody, because look, if, if everybody had the same measure of faith that the apostles had on down, then everybody would be out. And it, yeah. We have a whole, we would have the camera outside the whole block party, right. you know, it, so it, to it, say, it, you know right. what I'm saying? We'd have a, like, the IUIC be doing it. With the mic, we need microphones at that point. Matthew 18 and 13. And if so be that he find it, Verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. That's right, man. You find that sheep, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna be joyful, yeah. you know. And that's how we feel, man. We, we, man, when when people, certain people walk by and they, they want to hear the word, we get, we, yeah. you know, the, hey, the spirit yeah. turns us up, because yeah. that's what we out here for, man. It's like, because it's it's like this. It's like we found a sheep that has been lost. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, we, like yeah, we start rejoicing. Not if they get it or not, that's not up to us. Yeah, right. But we get rejoice. We rejoice either way because this is what we out here for, man. We're spreading the gospel. Right. Now we understand everybody ain't gonna get it, but this is what the course said. Yeah. Go ahead, go. And if I can add, um, you know, as we're reading this parable, okay, really, this is speaking about us as individuals. Exactly. We were all that one sheep. You know, going to show you the great lips that Yahweh Bashmal shot. Uh, went eight. through and is still going through because then we piss him off every day, but we still in the, in the, in the past. Yeah, remember, he went. Mm -hmm. The Lord went out His way for each and every one of us. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we all got our own stories, yeah. right. and the Lord specifically went out His way to wake you up, you, you, me, him, him, that, 
it, every uh, every one of us would have our own individual stories that the Lord personally woke you up. Because remember, my sheep hear my voice. So the Lord, that, well, how do you want to hear his voice unless he's near you? I'm just thinking that. Yeah. So that means he went looking for you. I got some real quick. No, let him finish that. Uh, Matthew 18 and 14. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Ooh, that's not the will of the Father. He didn't want the, none of the little ones to perish. And that's why he set this up, man. He set up a body. He set up shepherds, in other right. words. He set up the house right. side, the main shepherd, right. and then teach us, yeah. Lord's will be those men, to, to be shepherds unto the sheep, man. Okay. That's why the apostles hit on so much to feed the sheep, man. Right. What did the Lord say to Peter? Right. If you love me, feed my sheep. And then what did he say again? If you love me, feed my sheep. And then what did he say again? If you love me, feed my sheep. So what, he, what, what, what was he hitting at, man? We are shepherds, right. in other words. Yeah. And Peter got mad. Yeah. You know I love you, Lord. <laughs> but he was, he was instilling that into him because you're going to have to go on and feed my sheep. Right. You know, because he was there with him. But he was instilling that into Peter. He's like, yo, yeah. if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Yeah. And that's what we're here to do. Go ahead, brother. Okay, come on. This is uh, Ephesians. Yeah, that's right. Ephesians 1, verse 11 and 12 in the MSG. Uh, MSG? MSG. MSG. Because okay. uh, you had mentioned that like the Lord was watching us the whole time. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Ephesians 1, verse 11 and 12 in the MSG. It says, it's in it's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are. MSG ain't had the chemicals they put in the food. <laughs> 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 it says, it's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are. Hey, this is the good. This is the right-hand side. MSG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The right-hand. It's, it's MSG. MSG. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ephesians 1, verse 11 and 12 of the MSG. It says, it's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are Ooh. and what we are living for. So like, read that again, Bible Shah. It says, it's in Hamashiach. Quote it, quote it again, Bible Shah. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11 and 12 in the MSG. It's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Mm. In your Hamashiach, man. You don't know what you're living for until you come to your Hamashiach, man. Yeah. And who you are. If and I can add, oh, so like, you got, you I was going to say, that's because he's our husband. Just like women in the world, they don't have no fucking purpose. They just here, just taking up space if you ain't got a man. So it's not until our husband called us, like, hey, you know, hey, gives you hey, a I mean, put that betrothal up on us, that, that spiritual, you know, uh, dowry, which is the Holy Spirit. Now we got something to live for. Now we can forward the will yeah. of our of our of our husband. You know? purpose. Yeah, we got a purpose, man. It says, it's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Long before we first heard of Hamashiach and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us, had designs on us, on us for uh, glorious living. Part of part of an overall purpose, he is working out in everything and everyone. But like the, you know, the brother had said earlier, man, the Lord. Long before we even woke up in the truth, when we was in the world bugging out, man, the Lord had his eye on us. You see, every brother, the Lord, every believer who believed in Yahweh Shimei was shy at one point of time. You weren't in the truth. You was bugging out, smoking, doing all kind of shit, man. But the Lord was still, now looking back, you know what I'm saying? We see that the Lord was with us the whole time. He was our God before, he was our power before we even knew him. You see? He protected us and got, got brothers out of life and death situations before we even knew him. You see? And now we understand why. You see? Because he brought us up for this is our, now this is our purpose, man. You see, to come out and preach this gospel. All right? Like the brother said, to forward our, uh, the agenda of our husband, man. This is our calling. Yep. And, and, you know, I speak for myself personally, that's what led me to the truth. Yeah, I had a certain, I had an experience and then what, because uh, I never read the Bible in the, in the world. And so when I had this certain experience, um, I started typing in, what were the, what were the disciples doing before they met the Lord? Because I was like, damn, I can't, you know, I was like, damn. I, I, I wanted to believe in the Lord, but I was like, man. I don't think I'm worthy. So I was like, what were the disciples doing before they met the Lord? Mm. So that, that's what led me to the truth. Mm. You know, it, it, one of the, you know, we talked earlier, but that, that was one of the things I was asking myself, was like, what were they doing before the Lord, you know, because I didn't know, I didn't read the Bible before I came into the truth. So I was like, what, what were they doing? Right. You know, because I know he, I knew, you know, I, 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 I had a concept of it, you know, 12 disciples. So I was like, what, what were they doing before? Right. So and that, that so when that that I started going into, I was like, damn. 
maybe I can, maybe, maybe, maybe I can be saved, you know, and then so on and so forth, and now I'm here with these brothers, you know, so why do you, how much you know that? Hey, read that again, Bible Shop, one more time, All right, that was good. What's the MSG here? Yeah, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11 and 12 in the MSG, it says, it's in Hamashiach that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Long before we first heard of Hamashiach and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us. Had designs on us for glorious living. Ooh, designs? Mm -hmm. The Lord had a design for you, man. The Lord designed your whole life. Mm -hmm. right? Your life has been uh, some Ephesians. What, what, what Ephesians what? This is Ephesians 1, yeah. verse 11 and 12. Uh, you go up to the top. Uh, if you go up to the beginning, it says about the predestination. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so it, we, it, this has been predestined. That's why. It, it, man, it's a beautiful story, man. We did, yeah, man. Well, we went through Titus. You know, Titus three said, I'll, "Titus three tell you what we went through." Mm. We was brawlers out of the clubs. See, we went through all that shit. He was watching the whole time. Uh, he went through it. Like, yeah, up there. Okay, uh, he's going to jail now. Still ain't gonna learn. I'm gonna go and throw him. I'm gonna drag him on a little more. Mm. I'm gonna put him up out of there now. Well, that's crazy, bro. Now we've been illuminated. Now we see, yeah. see, because mm -hmm. all of us won't walk perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But we got tattoos. Some brothers still ain't got circumcised. Some brothers smoke weed. Some brother committed a double sin. Yeah. We come from all different walks of life, man. Yeah. And that is yeah. the beauty of the Lord, man. No he has practice. mercy. The mm -hmm. Lord's mercy. A limited compassion, man. Uh, everlasting. Thank God. Yeah. That's right. Everlasting yeah. kindness and compassion. Mm -hmm. Mercy. This is the our power. I don't know about you people. <laughs> that, 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 that scar, but our power, it, hey, phew, these everlasting kindness goes on forever. Right. That's why we're going to inherit everlasting kingdom. Right. Yeah. I got some people going away. He said, This is Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of thy womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Going back into, just to talk about the Ahala, I am, I brought this out, we brought that number. In the beginning, before the creation, before the foundation, you know, there are particular spirits, right, that helped create everything that was given via Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and until those Alahayim to create everything. So you were ordained in the belly. So like the priest said, we were all wicked. They was all doing all kind of, you know, drinking, and we all got past. Oh, all kinds of you know, and I just want to grab that word here, because um, I thought it was heavy, it formed. Before I formed these, like, and, that, and that's the thing. We we come from all walks of life. Come on. You go, you go, you go around. You know, I speak for myself. I've been to a, a lot of camps and the brothers from all kind of walks of life. Boy, guess what? We doing the same thing. Why is that? <laughs> right. I'm talking about brothers that did all kind of things in some had some way. We 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 doing the same thing now. That's 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 divine intervention right there. <laughs> Oh no, I'm just agreeing with you. It all makes sense real quick. That makes sense why the Lord said he, you know, he don't dwell in temples made with hands. Ooh. He used the internet Man. to cast that net out into the world. Yeah. Who, were the the first world? Of, who were the first disciples that he went to? Exactly. The ones casting out nets. Yeah. He said, hey, I'll make you pictures of men. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, and then when they say about his the men that he gathered, they say, hey. Hey, yo, Matt, yo, rat ass sitting with publicans and sinners. Yep. So, hey, yeah, we, yeah. we those guys. We yeah. the publicans and sinners, man. Right. So what? <laughs> so what? That's what we Howard Shot was chilling with. So if you got a problem with us, you got a problem with your Howard Shot. Right. Right. Go ahead, though. I just want to grab that word. Um, form me. It is uh, H33, H3335. It's uh, Yashar. And it is... What is, what is the word? Uh, Yashar. Yes. Yashar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, Yahushar. Yeah, Yahushar. And it says, um, through the squeezing into shape. Mm. Why wow. it's heavy, you think about it, because you can squeeze it anything. That's not something that's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Right? It's gonna come with some stress. Right? It's gonna come with some some being some being at dis-ease. Right. right? That's tried in the fire. Right? Being purified. Yeah, right? That's how you get that juice. Right? <laughs> you know, yeah. that squeeze and get that juice, right? So, you know, it being framed to be, you know, scripture talk about, you know, the body being uh, framed fitly together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be through trial, that trial of fire, but to get us that shape. Yahweh shout was the mold. We're ultimately that 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 gold operatizal 
precious metal trying to be being poured into that mold after trying to purify it. Wow. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, trying to, to fit that shape. That's ultimately what it is. Right? So you talk about to squeeze into shape. I just thought that was heavy. Yeah, because you know? what the scriptures say that we shall appear as he is. Mm -hmm. So the mold is set. Yep. Now we have to be purified as the gold tried in the furnace of adversity right. and then pour it in. Come after on. you've been purified. What did Paul say? I will be satisfied to when I change to his likeness. Yeah. Right? So Ooh. that's Read heavy. Moment. <laughs> yeah, I got that right down. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 18 and 5 of the NOT. It says, Then then the Lord Yahweh gave me this message. O Israel, can I not do to you as this potter have done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Mm -hmm. It's just basically, you know, if you said you ever saw the, what was the movie? Um, Ghost. 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 They're yeah. sitting there, you know, they're spinning at the spindle and they had the clay mm -hmm. and you was formed. That's how it shot ultimately. Yeah. That's being, you know, forming us onto this likeness, right? So, you know, the scripture talks about Isaiah 46 10, declaring the end from the beginning. So everything was already predetermined. Who those angels were, who those out of high who the elect are, everything was already set. And now it's just time to play it out in the movie. Right. We're living the ultimate movie right now. Yeah. Everybody in their roles right now. The greatest story ever told is being lived right now. And Yahweh Shah is molding, right, to perfection those elect men, those who believe on the names of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah, the names, yeah. right? That's what the most important thing is, like the priest talked about. You take away the name, man. You you scatter in the flock, man. Yeah. Right. That's so very sloppy. no, no, just you know, just that you know, being molded into his image and into his likeness. He, like like he just read Bible chat. You get one more time. God, this is uh, Jeremiah eighteen and five in the NLT. Then the Lord Yahweh gave me this message. O Israel, can I not do to you as this potter have done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Come. Oh, so there it is, right there. As the clay. Is it in the potter's hands, which Yahweh shot, so are we in his hands to form it in which any way that he pleases. And right now, in this latter in time that we're in right now, the Lord is putting that fire on, sitting as a refiner's fire, putting it on the elect, man, to shape us and form us together, right? Hey, because that deliverance time is at hand. If you know about clay, if you I remember this from high school. It just came back to me that as you were speaking, if you if you know if you know about the clay, once you once you mold the clay, what you got to do? You got to put it in the kid. God, that's it. That's it. Wow. That's it. No, no, that's it. You know, that's this. You know, that's pretty much cool. Uh, I just want to get I'm trying. You want to get Yeah, about yourself one more time. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's Jeremiah 8. Hey, so like it real quick. What's the Lord molding us with, though? His word. His, word. His, his word. word is the mold. Calm. So just stick to the Calm. word and you'll be molded. And here's the thing though. When, when you mold it with clay, what do you got to put on it? To mold it. Water. 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 It, 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 come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. What is the word? No, <laughs> <laughs> and so, all right. So now you got the image, you got the mold. Now the breath got to get, but now the breath got to be put in you, right? So now you got to be an example to the world. God. You got to walk with those, walk among those that are without. This is Titus 2 and 7 in uh, NLT. And you yourself must be an example mm. to them mm. by doing good works. Mm. Doing good works. Mm. Ask you how much I did. Now, now, that's why I shaped you. Right? Mm -hmm. When you got somebody get First Peter's, uh, what's it, 4 or 6? It's First Peter, uh, uh, or you can just type in and let uh, us an example. Yeah, First Peter 2. Yeah, that's what it said. First Peter's 2, yeah? Okay. I think 11 or 10. Go ahead. Right. It says in, uh, Titus 2 or 7 in NLT, and yourself. Must be an example to them by doing good works of every kind, that everything you do reflect the integrity and the seriousness of your teaching. Now, because we gotta remember, we're ambassadors of Yahweh Shai, man. Right. So anything we do is a reflection of Yahweh Shai. Right. Uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So you an asshole. You're you're pretty much showing that your guy is an asshole, and right. that's not what we stand for. We stand for the. What your house size stood for. Read that again, Bible Charlie, you got it. Titus 2 and 7 in the NLT. And you yourself must be an example to them by doing good works of every kind, that everything you do reflect the integrity of this and seriousness of your teaching. Mm -hmm. Seriousness. Seriousness. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. You got you have something else to do. No, no, no. He was just oh, uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, yeah. actually uh, a yeah, yeah. The, the seriousness. 
Yeah. You serious about this? Yeah. You know, it's not about just getting on YouTube and, and getting fringes on your T-shirts. Right. Are you serious about this? Are you actually showing forth what the Lord showed us? Right. Because and that's going to tie into what the brother's about to read. Okay. First Peter chapter two and twenty one in the NLT. It says, "For the Most High called you to do good." Even if it means suffering, mm. just as Hamashiach suffered for you, he is your example. Yeah, the, the, the perfect example, the only example you need. Uh, go ahead. It says he is your example, and you must follow his steps. You must, not maybe, or I'm a uh, no. You must. Go ahead. I got that word step. Uh, in the Greek Strong's G twenty four eighty seven, uh, ichnos. All right, it says a footprint. Track. Ooh, what what the footprints do? Clues of success. Clues. Don't Esau do that? Yep. Let me follow this footprint. Yep. Yep. Let me identify what animal what this is. Mm -hmm. So we follow in the footsteps that the Lord gave us. Mm -hmm. uh, it says a uh, metaphor of imitating the example of anyone. Yeah, it, it, who are we going to imitate? The how we to the best of our ability. We're not going to be perfect, of course. But we can strive to be. Right. Oh, man. The root word for it is uh, heiko. It says to come to one, i.e. to seek an intimacy with one, mm -hmm. to become his follower. Right. Go ahead. Read the, you keep reading, though. Uh, okay. It says to come upon one. No, no, under the, the next verse. Oh, okay. Come. Uh, First Peter 2 and uh, 22 says, who did no sin. Yeah. You know, I was right, did no sin. That's, it, that's the man you have with so, so again, read eleven again, or the, the oh, previous okay, verse. Right. Yeah. So, so, so we, so we can understand whose footprints we supposed to follow. Right. A man that did no sin. Right. right. After he molded us like the brother right. red. So mm -hmm. now it's all it's yeah. all coming. Yeah. 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 He molded yeah. shape. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're supposed to follow. Yeah. Right? Now you had said the footprint, right? Mm -hmm. You can use like plaster or something to to mold that print. You know what I'm saying? Pour it in there. You know what I'm saying? You see them on animal planets. Yeah, right, right, right. They're poured into the to the you know to the footprint in the, in the form that you know what I'm saying? Shape that yeah. footprint, man. Yeah, yeah. We the mold, like the brother just was reading, man, you know? So the mold is forming us until you hot the your hot was shot, man. Being uh, conformed to the image of the sun. Yeah, yeah. First two we, we shall be as he is when he wants to be. Yeah, we saw got people conforming to the image of the beast. Yeah. Right, right. 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 And we conform to the image of your house right. Yeah, because right. you got two images. You got the image of Yahweh Hashem Hashai, which is going back to the garden, right? The Lord got an image. Let us make man in our image. Now you got the, the that was in Genesis, and now you got the image of the beast. You gonna have to choose one. Right. We we already chose. Right. You people, you wavering on the fence. You gonna have to choose very soon. You better make your decisions very quick. Mm. Things are about to get tough. Go ahead, though, brother. Okay. First Peter two and twenty one in the KJV. For even hereunto were you called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us. Right, the Lord suffered for us. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. That, that was the example. The way he suffered for us. The love he showed us. The things he did. That, that was point blank period. You can't deny that. The Lord did what he did, and it stands bar none. Now it's our turn to suffer with him. As he suffered. Right, right. Go ahead. Verse 22. Who did no sin, neither was Gal found in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Come on, man. And that's what we got to do. Yeah. We got to commit ourselves to the same thing, man. Because what you uh, again quoted it earlier, the servant is not greater than his master. Mm -hmm. If the Lord did it, then you better be willing to do it. Yeah. At the very least, yeah. at the very least, you got to be willing to go through it. Because yeah. we're what well, Romans chapter eight. You see, you want to be glorified with him, and you got to suffer with him. Mm -hmm. But you think you're gonna be on a chariot, popping bottles, just because you know you're an Israelite? No. That's not how it works. Yeah. Hey, the brother Ed, so you said that part about uh, no doubt, right? Yeah. When you, when you read that, it reminded me of that Revelation 14. You know what I'm saying? Five, uh, you, how was, you know how the scriptures say that the elect, 
they ain't going to be no God in their mouth, and they're going to be found with no fault before the Most High, man. Coming into their image, a Yahweh shot, man. You yep. see? You know? Being being copied, you know what I'm saying? Being molded in that same fashion. You see? Yeah, that's that's that too real quick. I got a but you can make your point on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna add to the to the point of of, of uh, yeah, you know us us because the, the, the uh, elder uh, mentioned how how we should we should we have to pretty much we have to do this. You know what I'm saying? This is not a it's, it's not a we don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was gonna I was gonna make the point of Yahweh Shah made it possible to achieve these things because he did it in the same flesh that we in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Came out from before. He, what? Yeah, so yeah. it's like you ain't got no excuses, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got some. He got his position. Exactly. I'm gonna come down here and just live like y'all. Then I'm gonna show you it can be done. And he did it. This man walked on water, but you complaining. Right, right. Come on, man. Or not this man, but he's the man. Our Lord and Savior walked on water, turned water into wine. Did all these miracles that couldn't even contain all the books on the planet, but you complaining about your situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. I'm going to jump to the NLT. And just as my father have granted me a kingdom, I will now grant you the right mm -hmm. to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. But you got to continue with him and his temptations to get that right. Yeah, you know, granted, right. you got to do something. Yeah, right, right. right. You got to get some chink in your armor. You got to be down. Gotta be down, yeah, bro. Say. <laughs> yep. It's conditions to this love. It's not unconditional. Right. Now, you Jake just right. want to be, the, you know, you know, you go to the football game. You got um, what they call them, uh, the people that party in the in the in the parking lot. What they call them? Uh, tailgate. Uh, tailgate. Tailgate. Yeah, yeah, you think you a tailgater? You're gonna get a trophy. Right. Nah, nigga, <laughs> you're not on the right. team, bro. <laughs> you got to be down with. You got to suffer. You got to go through the gridiron. Got to get beat up. Your busted knuckles. You get hair. You hurting at the end of the game. Mm. You might have to get pulled off the sideline, get some oxygen or something. Yep. You ain't just sitting in the parking lot gonna get a, 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 a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> are you down or are you not? And, that, and, and again, going back to what we said earlier, you got to be predestinated for this. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't be part of the all-star team. Nope. All right. I got one for you. This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 3 in the NLT. The law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. Mm -hmm. So the Most High did what the law could not do. Mm -hmm. He sent his own son in a body like these bodies sure. we sinners had. And in that body... The Most High declared an end to sin's control over us by giving His Son as a sacrifice for our sins. Man. <laughs> he said, "What the law could not do." Oh, just yeah, just as the other uh, priest, you know, Michael just going into man, you know, like this is this is what you know the majority of other Israelite camps they don't understand, you know, um, is that okay? The Most High sent a better way, which is His Son Yahweh Shai. He already showed, we already proved to the Lord for a thousand years we couldn't do it in these bodies. Right. Even when you read in Deuteronomy the 31st chapter, okay, uh, before, you know, we even came into the land, Moses already said, listen, y'all going to go in that land, you're going to corrupt yourselves, you're going to get ensnared by idols, and the Lord going to kick you out. You know, so it was predestined that we had to go through this. So what? So, so we can hope upon a better way, which is Yahweh shot. Right. You know, so as we were hoping upon that better way, we're supposed to take his mold. We're supposed to imitate him. You know, as as the uh, the promise was going into what scripture? Uh, that was Romans eight and three in the NLT. Yep. And Yahweh Shai was above the law; he proved it. That's right. Right. Yeah. When he when he ate, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, well, he quoted uh, uh, when he David did. Problem. You know, uh, uh, eating the 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 showbread. The showbread. Yeah. Show yeah. Oh. The same thing they said about the, his disciples. He, and what he hit him with, he said the, the, the Sabbath was created for man, not man for sa the right. Sabbath. Right. He's the Lord of the Sabbath. Right. right. I got one for And that went head. right over their heads, mm -hmm. just like it's going right over their heads today. The law, the law. But they can't even keep the law perfectly. Right. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew 12 and 6, red letter. Yahweh Shah says, but I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. 
you will attempt for it. The dwelling of the Most High, dwelling amongst His people. Yeah. The law was being issued from, you know, the priest, all of that. Yahweh Shai was like, I'm above all that. Mm -hmm. That's why he wanted to kill him. So, and that's why they, they took it to the that's why they got so hurt that they had to take it to the authorities of the Romans and that, as they're doing today. Yeah. If you're perceiving it, yeah. they're doing the yeah, same exactly. things yeah. today. That's why they want to put this right. Calling us rapists and shit. Mm -hmm. right. They want to go to the Romans now. Yeah. They can't deal with it, so they're gonna have to take it to the Romans. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so your option has to be that. If you believe this, that means you believe that he is, bro. Mm -hmm. That ain't the right thing to say. If you no. believe, bro, that's fool. I got a little bit of I was just going to add on. This is Hebrews 12 and uh, uh, 2. I'm going to get an NIV. It says, fixing our eyes upon Yahweh Shah, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning and shame, down, scorning and shame, and sat down at the right at the right side of the throne of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. Considered him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and loose in heart. Right, you know, so being that mold again, you know, as Yahweh as Yahweh Shah set his his, you know, set his sights on the joy that was set before him. Ultimately, that's what we're doing. All right, and that's detaching from this world. Ultimately, the scriptures the very next verse talks about not we have not yet resisted onto blood. We're coming into that, that that time now. So this is the time to strengthen yourself in, in the name of Yahweh Shah. But look to what he did. Look to what he did with our forefathers, the miracles and the things that he. Uh, 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 um, that he brought onto them in the in the face of adversity, in the face of certain death. All right, looking at it calmly, you know, having that faith. But like the priest said, it all goes down to uh, election ultimately, man. It's not going to be for everyone. People are going to say, oh, "I believe by this or that," but faith is getting ready to be tested right now. Right. Scripture talks about then you should know who you know, but who am I chosen? Right. So that time of persecution and all that is coming. So looking to what Yahweh Shai did and molding yourself. Through the strength of our Yahweh Shemel Shah. The best way and what he did and who he is and what he stands for is the only way out. Yeah, it says fix your eyes. Read that again. Uh, it says fixing our eyes on Yahweh Shah. Just like you were supposed to look at the fringes. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be fixed looking at Yahweh Shah as how to move. Mm -hmm. you know? or, or the brass serpent. Yeah. 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 This Moses lifted him up. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, Yahweh Shah is that brass. Right? Yeah. yeah. So who, who better to look at as an example? What would, well, you know, you got that saying in the world, what would Jesus do? And, and yeah. that was my senior quote. <laughs> but what would your house I do? What would your house I do in this situation? You got to think this in your everyday. We started with this at the beginning of the video, being circumspect, moving in the spirit. What would your house I do? That's the best way to move in the spirit. Yeah. Being circumspect is what would your house I do in this situation? Yeah. Sometimes, you got to take the L. Yeah. Sometimes okay. you got to move with wisdom. Sometimes you just got to get out of there. Yeah. You know, so, but what would Yahweh Shai do? That's our best example. Uh -huh. you know, of course, Yahweh Shai is not walking here in 2024 driving a, 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 a Toyota Corolla. But don't be simple. You right. got to put yourself in that mindset. We got the scriptures because Yahweh Shai is the word. Yeah. But that's all we need. Yeah. And what did he do? what did he show us? What did your house like show us? Was he going around beating people up? Yeah, you got oh, why well, he beat the people up with the cat and nine tails? Uh, right. That's that was first and foremost that was prophecy. Mm -hmm. What 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 did he do? What was his ministry about? Right. Doing the father's work, right? My, my father's business. Right. It wasn't man uh, cut uh, cut his uh, yard with the sword. He, and, was, and uh, he immediately put it back on him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. It's my king and my servant will fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. shot the, 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 the scriptures don't tell you what that man went on to do. Right, right. right. Maybe he was believing. Have right. you seen that? The man yeah. put an ear back on you? What would you do? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's that's, that's the point, though. Yeah, right, right. You know, yeah. we we if, if you want these abilities to do these things, you got to be able to take on the mindset of your house shy. It's not about us. It's about the glorification of Yahweh by Shemuel At the end of the day, that's all it's about. Right. Because right. whenever, whenever these things happen, people are going to automatically want to follow you. Mm 
Right. When miracles happen, people are going to want to attach onto you, and you mm -hmm. have to. It, it, I always say, if you don't believe, you won't receive, so you're not even going to get that kind of power. But the first thing we're going to do through the Spirit is, is tell them the names yeah. as the, we read okay. in the book of Acts. When they, people when shall they, be willing in the day of their power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're going to want to know how you did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're going to tell them, I ain't doing nothing. What you looking at? That's what Peter and John said. What you looking at us like we did, son? Yeah, the same when y'all hung, you know, cruise, you know, the one y'all hung. We did it through history, through you have a chance. Tell me more. And then people are like, tell me more. So again, you know, we have to, not later, get in the mindset now, you brothers out there, get in the mindset now of being leaders. You're not just here to hold a sign, man. Yeah. You're not just here to stand around looking around at camp. You're here for a reason. If not, you're going to get sifted out at the end of the day or destroyed yeah. by the Lord. Yeah. We're here because we're about to come into a, a time where a lot of people are going to start believing. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what you're doing, why are you here? Yeah. Right. If you don't believe, why are you here? You need to be solid foundation right now, man. Because things are about to get crazy. And, and spooky things are about to happen. Yep. Things out of this world. Things that haven't been seen for thousands of years. Yep. yep. I've got a precept. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. In Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Now, we're not just here, you know, for no reason. Our labor is not in vain. We got to stand firm in what we believe. We found, uh, uh, we need to be rooted in the foundation of Yahweh Shai, man. Right. You know, you hear the story about the three little piggies. Okay. You know, the little te the child's tail. Yeah. Well, the third little, the one third, right? The one, the third piggy, he had a solid foundation, which yep. is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Things are about to get hectic. Yeah. Deadly. Life and death scenarios, and it's going to come to you. Do you believe or not? And then people are going to see you and believe on your house side through your belief and what you tell them. You you might not have a Bible in that day, right? But the word's already in us. We can quote scriptures to you all day, and you should be able to anyway. At this point, you know, this this is the time we're living in. Any day now, hell, tomorrow. Something might happen. Yes. What you gonna do then? Yep. Like that Santa Claus fault line. Just, that that part is just, it's so ready. He is ready, bro. Yep. It's so yep. real quick. Tell you for what the brother is going into. This is First Peter two and twelve. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. Mm. <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody gonna have nothing to say then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do? Yeah. That's the first people. people are gonna be in awe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. People are gonna be in awe at the, at the power the Lord bestows upon us right. if we believe. Right. So but people gonna have to see it. Yeah. To exactly. believe. You know? that's, just, that's just their lot. Yeah, that's their lot. Yeah. And that's okay. But our lot is to truly believe and in, in so that how Bashimi I was shot. Like it. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's name may be manifested and glorified right. on our behalf as vessels. Because we don't know if we're going to be delivered. We haven't endured to the end yet. Right. But we strive in our best and, and we pray every night that we can do miracles in the name of the Lord so that we can glorify the Lord. Because what? We're not just want to do miracles just to. You know, like the LeBron James dunk a ball, you know, win the, uh, uh, win the dunk competition, all-star game, or the Olympics. We don't give a damn about none of that. If we do something in the name of the Lord, you best believe we're going to give him all the credit. Lord's will. Well, because you're not even going to be able to do that if, if that's not in your spirit. Right, yeah, you got to yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you don't believe, you won't receive. But, yeah. but that's the point. People are, will believe from these things. And even if you get put to death, people might believe off of you standing firm for that. Yes. So we got to think about that because you might raise up right after that. Right there. And then what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brothers, believe, man. Believe. Things are about to happen that are impossible in the sight of the carnal man. Right. 
Yeah. But we're not carnal, man. Because what? To be carnally minded is death. Yeah. We're not dealing with death over here. The Lord gave us life, and that's what we're dealing with. You can believe it or not. Hey, I was going to say, like that second Peter said, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that's why Paul said you got to strive lawfully. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got to play by the rules, man. If you playing by the rules, then there ain't nothing them niggas can say. Right. You see? Because your work's showing. You see? Yeah, I mean, who can who, who? Like the scriptures say, man, ain't no, ain't no charge going to be on to the elect, man. You right. see, who can charge the elect before the most high? Nobody, man. Right. You see? But the elect, because the elect is going to strive lawfully according to those rules that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah gave them to play by, man. You see? We, we, can't, we can't be out here. If you're if you out here moving, if you're out here breaking the rule, not following the rules that the Lord gave them, then you're going to get caught up, man. Right. You see? Which a lot of these counts are going to get caught up, man, because they're not striving lawfully. You know? Well, some of them, some of them, you know, when the famine of the word comes, right, you got to get digitally, uh, digitally identified to get on the internet. Some of them dudes might still be teaching. You already know what that means. <laughs> <to the chip. laughs> they be on, they'll still be on YouTube. Right. Meanwhile, you don't see GMS anywhere in sight. <laughs> see, you knew there wasn't nothing. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it's, a, it's not far-fetched, you know. <laughs> one body, one body. <laughs> <laughs> one body in the We in the hell. We in the hell. We in the hell. We in the That's going to be your only access to an Israelite. Like them yeah. niggas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, the salt water. water. That's gonna be the salt water. <laughs> salt water, you know? water down the soup. Yeah, you want that? You, you yeah. trying to get hydrated, but you drinking salt water. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah you yeah. can't Ocean survive off salt water. Yeah, you're gonna die. He dies. He dies. Yeah, God. That's why ultimately we know the the, the blaming of the ministry is coming. Yeah. Right, because that's ultimately what he wants to do. All these draconian laws and these things are set up. Don't think for one second that this damn devil doesn't know who the men of the Lord are who are pushing this truth. Right? And that's why going back to that persecution, because he's not, it's going to come a time where, you know, cutting off the internet, you know, speaking against this system, you know, it's going to be outlawed, right? But we know it all really boils down to those that are really pushing the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Right? Ultimately, that's really what these whole, this whole thing really boils down to. You know, you're going to have, you got different pockets and different talking points and guys with platforms, but you see the Lord is just is dismantling all that. Because these guys have been taken from our, the head apostles, different talking points and Bringing it onto their platform and acting like they've come up with it. And winning. Right? And yeah, winning and people just ooh and eating it up. But we're coming into a time where you niggas are not going to have the answers to the things that are going on out here. Right? And it all's going to lead back to the men of the Lord, those of us that are out here preaching this truth, man. All right? And where he's setting this up, we always talk about the, the New World Order, the three uh, pillars of the New World Order uh, digital ID, uh, 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 social governance, uh, uh, surveillance. And uh, the, the CBDC. Right. Those are the three pillars. When you look at all the things that happened in the past, they all outline these little um, black swan events. They've all outlined in some way, shape, or form the, um, these three pillars, yeah. right? So he's not going to afford, he can't afford to have anyone speaking against mm -hmm. this system that's coming. Unless, so, it, unless, unless it's a controlled opposition. Come. Like uh, as you see now, these, these clowns on, on the internet. Which we we men know that because they're just using our talking points, like you mentioned. They Candace use our Owens. talking points. Yeah, Candace Candace Owens. Owens. the tape, really the, <laughs> tape uh, uh, the tape brothers. They just yeah. supposedly yeah. got arrested. I don't believe they ever got arrested in the first place. Right. Uh, uh, what's the other the, uh, uh, Elon Elon yeah. Scrub? Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. They all of them clowns. They all controlled about Trump. Trump. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's it's a charades. It's a puppet show. It's you nice. ever been to a puppet show? Mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's a charades. Yeah. Yep. But he's but the, the devil's so subtle. He's able to put truth in what these people are saying, so yeah. that he can yeah. demonize those talking points yeah, exactly. yep. and, and make it use them as catalysts to get everybody else who talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> everybody. See, look, they got arrested for it. Y'all got to get arrested. Like Trump got <laughs> kicked off the internet. You sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you sure did. It's, it's leading to. You being able to kick somebody off of the internet for their belief, their talking point. Mm -hmm. You not liking them. Right. And that's why they will never uh, directly attack us because then that will put the light on us. Yeah. And then people might watch our video and be like, hold on. Yeah. But now they, at this point, they got the, the, the bank, you know, so to say. They got the bank of all the old videos and the, and yeah. the wild, <laughs> you know, crazy. <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter. Right. Because the word of the Lord stands the test of time. Yeah. <laughs> and like, guess what? They they lied on the house side too. Yeah. So what you gonna do? Yeah. They gonna do the same to us. And guess what we're gonna do? 
We're not planning on it. We're not thinking about it because the Lord going to give us what we got to say in that day. Right. That's what the scripture say. So you can do what you got to do, Esau. What you waiting for, man? Just do it right. Just do it quickly. Well, he knows the power we deal with. Yeah. So he knows he can't just rush in. He has to build an accusation and accuse. Right. But the beauty of what the Lord has done through the blood of Yahweh Shah is the elect can't be accused. <laughs> so none of his accusations although it's going to look like impossible none of his accusations are going to stand against yeah. the elect right. you know? yeah. it's going to be like OJ the gloves is nothing you know, <laughs> it's <laughs> <first> to quit <laughs> they overcame him by the blood of the lamb mm -hmm. yep. and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto the death those are the three key three things we need we need yeah. the blood of Yahweh Shah, of course mm -hmm. we need the 100% truth this testimony and we need to have the mindset that this life ain't it. Yeah. In order to get to the next one, we have to know and understand that. Yeah. Fuck this world. You, know? you gotta be willing to die. For yeah. You yeah. gotta be willing to die yeah. for this. The brothers need to understand. We got you gotta be willing to die for this. Yeah. You believe that? Are you willing to die for this? Right. Who's gonna and, die and so you, what, what, what I'm saying is, you might be on the guillotine and they bringing it down. And then the Lord give you spiritual power right, right there. It stops right there. Yeah. It or breaks, it explodes. Breaks. Yeah, it explodes. <laughs> it kills everybody. Mm -hmm. And he, or you grab somebody and just take off with them and yeah. just throw them back down. <laughs> That's not far fetched. No, no, no. no, no. Saying, Esau puts this in his movies. Mm -hmm. Esau don't have a better imagination than the Lord. Yeah. Right. And that came in light work. <laughs> when they came to give you how it shot. When he, when he stood up or something, when he got up, they all they fell, fell down. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, now who you coming? He said, now who you coming to get again? Yeah, right. Come on, man. What? Yeah. Power, man. Or you got to die for it. Like you said, if you happen, you want to come right back. And he died for us. Right. Yeah. Now now it's time for his power to be shown. Yes, right. it. That's it. That's it. Y'all see the, the video of the, of the brother who had the dream? We were watching it earlier, earlier today. Remember? The yeah. brother had a dream, and he's basically, it was him and th two other brothers here in the car. And, uh, they got pulled over by the police, and it was like, you know, he had the, the I guess the, the officer had like the scanner to see if you had the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To see him. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, you know, so he's like, we use, literally use, he's like in a dream, we just kind of snapped into a slim gym, used wisdom, so we're kind of like, okay, and just, you know, tried to, you know, just, be, you know, believe in the names of Yahweh Shemel Shah. So when they put their hand up to, to scan it, the machine malfunctioned, and yeah. it read that they had it. Oh, yeah. But they really didn't have it. See? And I was, it, it, it was just heavy when he said it, he was like, we didn't have it, but the screen, the, his machine read that he had it, so he was like, cool, but then the brother in the back, then they asked to, you know, for him to do it, because he's basically saying there's going to be some brothers in the ministry that are going to take this hit. So it's like, when he asked the brother in the back, he's like, his whole content has changed, and they kind of looked at him, and they were like, man, this brother took the seat. And so he said when he um, pulled his sleeve back, he had like a, a keloid, like a boil. Yeah, it was one of the brothers that was in the, the camp, so he was like... And so the whole moral of the story of the, of the dream Sheesh. pretty much was there going to be brothers in the camp that are actually going to, you know, that's why Elder Possible kind of talk about, you know, don't be a woman, means you're going to have them. That's going to be a temptation onto you. But yeah, the dream was heavy. Yeah, you when can't he said love skin, this life. Yeah. yeah. You cannot love this life. Right, right. For sake of gold. Bro, heavy fools. Gold. Somebody got a precept? Yeah. This is uh, the book of Luke, chapter uh, 12, and wow. verse... I just thought of it when uh, he said that. So let me get it real quick. This is the one I'm uh, talking about, love his life. He that love it, his life shall lose it. Kind You got to understand, our, uh, if you of that number, you know, you worry about your wife, your mother, your children. You can, you can get all of them back anyway. And really, your mom, if you of, if you of that first fruit, swear that ain't your real mom. Right. Your daughter that ain't your real dad, you know, in the, in, in the flesh, but in spirit, really, those are your sons and daughters that the right. Lord just used to bring you into the earth. And you got to understand, you're going to get them back somehow, some way, anyway. Children, mm -hmm. yeah. the, the Lord told you that in Matthew 19. Right. So you have to really understand what the, 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 the priestly order that the elect are a part of. You really have to really internalize that to get over this life. Right. Right. You know? right. Cause not all these incarnations we have, we had. my mom want my mom. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? No, she was, not, for now, yeah. we had the same yeah. parents. Right. Like Joseph wasn't Yahweh Shai's original father. His original father is Yahweh. Right. And right. our original right. father is, is through Yahweh Shai. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. That's our original order. Yep. It's uh, Luke 9 and verse 24 in the NLT. It's Yahweh Shai speaking. 
He says, if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give and up. Taking the seat here being you really trying to hold on to this life. Right. It's like you, 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 you so, you, you so reprobate the Lord put a spirit on you to take the seat here, bro. To say, fuck it, man, I'm going to live here. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't even included in nothing anyways. Making $180,000 a year, got a house, you still want to be here for this. Bro, you go get the C hip and catch can you gonna be through. <laughs> a month later, a month later, bro, you gonna be through. What do you think? You, you, you go uh, allow you into his paradise? No, yeah, you gonna right. destroy your ass. <laughs> you already know too much. Yeah, yeah. He know who you are. If you take the C hip, you was a, he was a, he know you in Israel. He, like, he, he plans on this, what we're speaking, what we're saying, not to ever be remembered. In the years to come, so he gonna get rid of your ass anyway. Why not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 dummy. We'll put you in the re-education program. Yeah, he 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 saw just trying unalive. Sell, make you sell out like he did. Yeah, sell sell him cheap. The original sellout. Yeah, right. right. That's why he saw it. I was gonna say uh, what uh, what you just said, uh, how Esau's trying to basically get rid of all his information that and all his truth is out of here. Uh, Elder Arunazi here did a uh, lesson uh, about a day ago, maybe uh, yeah, a day or two ago. But anyway, he had played like this short clip of uh, who was that? Noah Yuval Harari, and he had Noah Yuval Harari was in an interview, and he said that uh, within the next few years, uh, we're gonna have AI to write the Bible, rewrite, yeah, yeah. rewrite yeah. the Bible, you know, and to correct all the flaws and errors in the Bible. So that goes to show you because he's not doing, he's not talking about rewriting the Quran or rewriting the Book of the Dead. Right. You know, he's always, he's, right, right. he's focusing upon this Bible, man. Why? Because it condemns him, you know? So like, as you said, you know, he's trying to basically make Jake sell out the same way he sold out, man. Just totally forget your power, man. Yeah. It condemns him because he knows that we connected to that script, to the Bible too. Yep. You see, that's our power source right now. Okay. That's what we're looking for the Israelites. They ain't for nobody else. That's right. Uh, and Luke 9 and 24 again. I had a quick one. I mean, you got some more finish, bro. Okay. Uh, Luke 9 and 24 in NLT. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. Mm. But if you give up. It's like it. But scriptures say that the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm. Yep. Niggas love money. They love flossing and Lambos mm. and, yep. and go on South Beach. You don't got no Edomites out there flossing out. It's right. a bunch of niggas and spicks. That's it. They love the money. They love the lifestyle that the money provides for them. And guess what? It's about to be digital. Mm -hmm. So let's say you got a, a three hundred thousand in the, in the bank, and, and one day all of a sudden something happens, and then Esau says, "All of a sudden, okay, yeah, you got three hundred thousand in the bank. But the only way you can access this anymore is if you come to this CVS and come get it zipped up." That's, a, that's the new term, zipped up. Zip, you gotta come get zipped up. Yeah, yeah, cause that apes. Yeah, Zip him up. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was a good Read that again, but we shot from the top. Luke 9 and 24 in NOT. If you try to hang on to your life. Yeah, hey, Jake gonna be, you know, you ever seen <laughs> the cartoons where the car is driving away and, yeah. and, the, and the little dude yeah. is hanging on to the car? Yeah. We already forsook. We let go of the car, man. It's a love right. TKO to us. We, we yeah, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Teddy, uh, Teddy Pendergrass. We, we had to let it go. Yeah. Uh, if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if mm. you, there's another scripture. He that hated his life shall so gain it. Probably paraphrasing, but it goes up. Yeah. God, it says, but if you give up your life for my sake, you mm. will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world, but you are yourself lost or destroyed? Yeah. Going so selling your soul, and you're selling it cheap, man. You're not even selling it for anything. Well, you're selling it for something that somebody typed into a computer. Not even that. Just hit enter. Right. Because yeah. money, the money that you're dealing with, when you get paid, you're not getting paid. Right. You get direct deposit. What is that direct deposit? DD. Yeah. That's not nothing. That's no, not no, something. No, no. It, you gotta go to the ATM to get a piece of paper out. Yeah, it, that's not on the the the, the uh, uh, elemental chart, the right. periodic table. Right. Gold mm -hmm. is, silver is, right. mm -hmm. a piece of paper ain't. Mm -hmm. If our ain't ain't on the periodic table, mm -hmm. these papers a tree. <laughs> Plus some other chemicals. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not exactly. on the periodic table. Where, yeah, where it's not, that's right. 
That's even in but the people would die for it. Niggas would kill each other. And they'll stuff it in their grandma's mattress. Right. Colored paper. Colored paper. Monopoly money. Monopoly money. But, Babasha, one more time. Read that again. Because they're holding on to this. They don't. They're, and that's what Esau's going to get them with. See, Esau has entrapped these people. He's laid a snare, but he's going to fall into it. But he's laid a snare unto our people. Ultimately, so he can get them with the end game, which was the mark. That's why on the money on the dollar bill, that the web on it. The web. They got it's a trap. Jake and the web <laughs> tight. Boy, you got the spider on that web when you move. Now the spider can crawl on that mother because that's kind of oily. Yeah, spider. But yeah. you get caught in that fly, get caught in that mother. The more you move, you can change it up. It's spinning. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. spinning. It's, it's, it's rapping. Yeah. And, 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 and who else move? move? Outside of Esau, who else moves like that? I was a he, bro. He 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 was a he, we said, Lord, take the wheel. You know, these people like to make stupid memes about it. Please take the wheel. We said, hey, the Habashim are sorry. Our lives are in your hands. We know we're here for a reason. Mm-hmm. And if it ain't to serve you, then what the hell are we here for? Because right. we don't see no other way. Well, how else we going to get delivered from this wicked world that we're living in? Because, I mean, if you don't see that this place is wicked, then what, I don't know, what's wrong with you? Well, we, actually, we do know it's because you love the beast. He worshiping the beast at this point. Yeah. And the next step is to take his mark. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Because because the, the, the beast has been doing this systematically. Mm-hmm. He's been slowly feeding you like like Similac, right? And then slowly feeding you just so you can get to the point where you go you a GMO baby. Now you you you're depending on uh, on his pharmaceuticals. Right. right? Mm-hmm. So this is what the modern day people are dealing with. They're depending on, on the beast. So what are they gonna go to? The 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 what he's gonna present very soon. We'll present him with a zipper. Yep. Hey, yeah. Remember the dude from South Park? Yeah. 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 It's Hebrews chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 15 in the MSG. It says, Keep a sharp eye out for, for weeds of bitter content. A thistle or two gone to seed can ruin a whole garden in no time. Mm-hmm. It says, Watch out for the Esau syndrome. What's next? TLC? Yeah, I don't know what MSG stands for. I'm to come up with Mono Blue. Wait a minute. Read that again. Come, it says Hebrews 12 and 15 in the MSG. It say, Keep a sharp eye out for weeds of bitter content. A thistle or two going to seed can ruin the whole garden in no time. Watch out for the Esau syndrome. Mm. Trading away trading away the most high's lifelong gift in order to satisfy a short term appetite. Right. Ooh. He was so he was so he was so, he was so uh, impatient that he gave away he didn't even think of how that decision his birthright is gonna fuck his descendants up down the line. Yeah. He didn't even think. Now he mad. He didn't make a le- legacy based decision. And that's where you get fast food in yeah. Rome. Yeah. Esau is about you know, instant way. gratification, yeah. Yeah. hungry, why wait? Just do it. Yeah. It's, built in, it's built in his beast yeah. system, that yeah. mindset of just impulsiveness. Yeah. Yeah. But when you live like that, you eventually, it's it's eventually it leads to death. It may feel good, yeah. but eventually it leads to death. It, it's yeah. the microwave yeah. thought. Yeah. I want it, it's mine, and I want it now. now. Yeah, right. But that shit, like if you put something in the microwave, I don't know. Boy, but it, it takes the nutrients out of Yeah, I use an oven as much as yeah, possible. Yeah, Every blue moon, you get that deep, yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah. it, you know. But yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. use yeah. 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 that, that, that's the same concept. 
Quick, quick. I don't want to wait, put it in the oven. No, I want it now. Right. That, who do you think it created? Well, it was probably Jay created it, but who, who ran with it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's right. Like, it's cold. Like, well, it, was point, it was a point in Russia where they banned them. Yeah, well, 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 now they got them there, but there was a point yeah. where they, they banned it because it's, it's, it's very unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why they tell you don't stand in front of the microwave. Right, right. radiation. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But also, uh, that uh, uh, the microwave shit, it, 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 it doesn't even make sense. Because you hear it like, uh, yeah. it's like the x-ray machine makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it, it's, yeah. the doctor leaves the room when you get an x-ray. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, he like this. <laughs> <laughs> They started introducing microwaves, so they wanted the microwaves that go through the, the paint. That's, that's why they started. They stopped using lead-based paints. That's, that's another what? story for wow. another day. That's, that's, that's why. Damn. I don't know about that. This paint you see here can just travel through the wall. They, they lied and said, "Oh, kid, children were eating lead-based paint." No, it's because they introduced microwaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because they had lead paint. They can do it. I need mean, lead paint for the house. As much as possible, I want my food up. Yeah, just yeah. You must stop fucking using microwaves. That shit cold, you got to, man. Shit. I mean, we in hell. You know, brothers may do it sometimes. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, for, yeah, as, as much as possible, try not to use it. Don't think you're going to hell. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bird in eternity. Brother, you going off. If you use the oven, you got you got Kim Trail. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't I'm gonna take the Kim yeah, Trail. Yeah, and yeah. the air fryers now they say it's full of lead. Yeah. 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 We, we, we just need the house. I need my air fryer right there. Hey, we just need the Lord. But this, but understanding this should make you fight even harder for the kingdom. Because there's no way to win. You can't win like that lion. On the, the the Wiz, yeah. Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't win. You can't win here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. We're, we're making light of it, but this is right. deadly serious. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're making light of it because we understand these things. But these mo most people don't understand what we're talking about at, on the level we're talking about. But yeah. this is real, man. Like we need a salvation at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. If, if if the Lord won't come back, there will be no nothing to say. It's like it, nothing to say. Yeah. No flesh to be saved. Yeah. This devil was talking about 2020, 20, 30, and 2050. Get the fuck so, out of here, man. Ain't gonna be no 2050. No, no, sir. It's gonna be a 20. It's gonna be a 2050 if you eat Mike's asses. 2050. I'm still making 30,000. They're gonna be very embodied in 2050, if anything. You had anything else? Uh, uh, yes, a little more. Yeah. Well, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16 in the MSG. Watch out for the Esau syndrome. Trading away the, the most high, syndrome. trading <laughs> away the most high's lifelong gift in order to satisfy a short-term appetite. Yeah. You will know how Esau later regretted that impulsive act and wanted the most high's blessing, but by then it was too late. Tears or no tears, he traded that birthright. Yeah, tears or no tears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that birthright he traded. You know, there's a lot of scripture I'm emphasizing: uh, being patient, constantly enduring. Yeah. Because we shall have any patience of the Lord. That's what we do when we get in this truth for sure. We build up our patience. Mm -hmm. You know, like Sirach too. You know, we got to constantly build our patience and constantly endure, especially the, the times that we're in now. Like I say, it's going to constantly get harder now. Like I say, the days are evil. But uh, like I said, 2nd uh, Ezra 14, uh, from here on out, we're paraphrasing. It said it's going to, uh, the, the evil is going to just get worse. Yep. You know, so we basically got to get ready and endure certain things. Yeah. You know, that's why I said the elect scarcely going to be saved. They're going to be like, you got man, there's no way out of this thing. You know, you got to believe. You got to believe. You got to keep that faith. Yeah, right? Because when that, that, that time of patience comes, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait patiently? Because the scriptures say, wait ye upon me. Mm -hmm. The vengeance is, is mine. That's right. So are you going to have the patience? To just just endure okay. what we got to go through as the Lord did, because he again we go, we go back to it. The Lord was our greatest example. He showed us. He suffered patiently. Yep. So what, what what do we need to do then? Suffer patiently, just like he did. Right. We're not finna go through what he did went through. Mm. You will be persecuted. You will be hated for his name's sake. Not hated 
If you're hated because you're a nigger, then then that's your that's problem. You, yeah, you should be right. hated because of, of what you believe, right. of your faith. Yeah. But our faith is going to stand the test of time. We're about to be delivered because of our faith. Right. While everybody thought we were funny and, and wearing bed sheets and huh, mm -hmm. all right, we're going to see where they at in these mm -hmm. these coming right. days. But guess what? That came with patience. We've been patiently waiting on the Lord because the vengeance is His. Right. The Lord's about to start showing His vengeance on this earth before He returns. Or even before the Lord cracks the skies, the Lord's going to start showing His vengeance. People are going to start dropping dead. People are going to get drafted off to war. People are going to starve to death. And guess what? We're going to be in the midst of that. You have the faith that you're going to be. Uh, saw somebody get that in song. I believe it's in songs. A uh, uh, thousand on one side, ten thousand on the other. Do you believe that? That's what it's going to come down to. Mm -hmm. You believe it. Mm -hmm. You believe that you're going to be in the midst of people dying in a famine, and you're somehow going to eat. Do you believe that when people get drafted off the war, you will be okay? If you trust in your how about you know, sorry, you should be. At this point in time, what else are you going to lean on? As if people are going to lean on on, on uh, uh, Egypt, and, and uh, what's that scripture that says? That their peers shall be uh, 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 their flesh shall be pierced, lean, something like that. Roughly paraphrasing. You got it though? Somebody, somebody got that one. Yeah, this song, so, yeah. Oh, this song, chapter 91. All right, verse, um, let's see. I'll start at verse up. I guess right to a seven. It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. Chaos erupts in the streets of America, and people are dying all around you. What are you going to do? Well, if you trust in the Lord, read that again, Bible Shot. Come. Psalm 91 and 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You either trust in that or you don't. You, you trust in that or not? Yeah. People are going to be dying all around you. It might even be your loved ones. Yep. So what? You may see your grandma get kicked, get her fucking head cut. You're like, damn. You know, no, big mama. Uh, 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 Russian but you, troops. But you, you, yeah, but you got to keep going. Damn. What you going to do? Like Denzel on a, uh, what was that? What did you like? He wanted to go, his flesh wanted to go save that woman, but he was like, that's not your fight. Mm -hmm. Something told him, I believe it was something like that. Yeah, yeah, he was saying. Oh, the Harleys. Yeah, 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 when he came in the Harleys. Yeah, he was like, that's not your fight. Yeah. And he, he, remember, he was, walk, he was walking by faith. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to come down to. you walking by faith. you trust in the Lord. you trust in your how about you Because things are about to get bad. Yeah. And there's nothing else you're going to be able to trust in. Not your own opinions and your feelings. Yeah. Fuck feelings. Feelings are for women. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we, of course, we, we're met, we, everybody got feelings, but our feelings is, should be locked in with the Lord and in, in, in the way of trusting in them, you know? Because mm -hmm. things are going to get so bad that you're going to be like, oh, shit. You know, who knows? We, everybody's going to have their own account. Everybody's going to have their own situation. But if you don't believe, you won't receive, man. Yeah. Esau's way of thought, you know, is rooted in feelings, emotions. Mm -hmm. The Bible is, is rooted in what gets the job done for righteousness. Right. Mm -hmm. Faith. Mm -hmm. it, things not seen. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to trust in things that you don't know that is going to come to save you. Right. But that's going to be the best thing to save you. Yeah. Something that nobody can see. Yeah. Imagine an angel come down and deliver you. Or imagine the Lord give you spiritual power right there and then. That's the faith you need to have. That's the, that's the things you need to believe in. Mm -hmm. That you can just one day just turn into Super Saiyan, so to say. You know, right. everybody knows mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a cartoon anime. You think that's that's come on, man? That's a cartoon. You think you don't think the Lord got something better for us? Mm. Yeah. You got more on that? Oh, no, I don't see. No. Yeah, uh, we had some. I have a point. Yeah. This is the book of <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. It says, cast not away, therefore your confidence. Yeah, don't cast away your confidence, man. You trust in the Lord and trust in him. Mm -hmm. Don't get weak. Things are going to get tough, but don't get weak. Just mm -hmm. trust in the Lord no matter what you face. 
you might be looking at face, uh, so like you might look at death in the face, but you better trust in the Lord even unto death. That's what the scripture say in the Sarat, striving, uh, striving to the Lord unto <coughs> death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. We mentioned earlier, the guillotine might come down upon you and they, that shit just break around you and you put everybody to flight. Then that, then, then he, what did Samson do? I was just thinking that. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Samson prayed that he let me put, and he killed every, he killed more people than he ever killed in his life in that, that one scenario. He mm -hmm. took his physical eyes, but boy, that was crazy. Yeah, I was just thinking that. That's a good example. And that's, that's the faith we need to have because that's the faith he had. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, cool. They took my hair. They, they, they make sport of me. They did this. They, all right, Lord, give me the strength to kill all these more He said, he said give, it give it to me one more time. Yeah. Yeah. He took them all with him. It was a, that's the murder suicide. Yeah. So yeah. Say. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, dog. Kind of Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Mm. For. Okay, kind of verse 36. For you have need of patience. Mm. That after you have done the will of the Most High, you might receive the promise. After you've done the will mm. of the Most High. Read that, that last verse again, Bible Shah. Okay. Hebrews 10 and 36. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of the Most High, you might receive the promise. You might receive the promise. Mm. That's Read why we, he didn't there to the end. The same shall be saved, man. We were fighting for our lives over here, man. You, you people playing profit over here and selling merchandise, man, we hope to be saved. We take this deadly serious. This is our lives. We're not, just, we're not trying to get thumbs up or likes or followers. We don't care. Yeah. We just want to be seen worthy of receiving salvation and so that we can glorify the names of Yahweh by seeing our side. That's what we're about. That's what our lives are. I mean, at this point, that's what our lives are about. When, you know, at this point, we, we've come to grips that everything's going to be taken from us anyway. Our lives are going to come to a screeching halt any day now. Yep. But very soon, the ministry is going to turn to 2.0. Yep. Yep. The acts are really about to start happening. That's what we deal with, yep. and that's what we believe in. And, and so, in the hopes that we might get a recompense. And what the Lord say, he's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. Right. We're not just out here doing this yep. for thumbs up. Right, right. Fuck your thumbs up, man. We don't care. Yep. Of course, you know, we, we want people to believe. But we don't want cheerleaders and pom-poms around us, man. Right, right. We want sincere believers, man. We don't want your money, your cash apps and all that zeal and all this. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and if, uh, universities. And, we're not... We don't care about none of that. We just want to glorify the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, 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 and do what he told us to do. Spread his message. Warn the flock. Get the blood off our hands. Like in the book of Ezekiel says, man. Mm -hmm. As watchmen, we need to get the blood off our hands because we're warning the people. Right. If you take heed, that's your problem. If not, that's your problem. Yeah. We're doing our job. Yeah. We take this deadly serious, man. Read that one more time, Bobby Shah. We ended all that. Now, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 10 again and verse I dropped it. Hebrews 10 and uh, 36 when we get in NLT in the NLT it says patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do the most high's will then you will receive all that he has promised continue to suffer and that you suffer, it makes you want to cleave to him anyway. That speaks up in Sirach chapter 2. Yep. You know, I mean, where you going to go to? Get a million dollars and be miserable? Sure. So as, as, you, as the Lord tightened the, the vice grips on us, it should make one want to cleave closer to him anyway. You know, okay. that's our only hope. That is the hope, you know. I don't know. The scripture talks about girding yourself up as men, man. The Lord is calling for men, for warriors, man. Right. So this is time to man for you brothers that's out there, like the, like the priest said, don't worry about followers and subscribers. Some of you, some of y'all came out there doing the work. Maybe they look at you or subscribe. Fuck all that. It don't matter. The angels are seeing what you're doing. Yahweh Shah seeing what you're doing. And that's all that matters. Scripture talks about he's not, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labors right. of love. Right? So just continue to push, man. Gird up. Gird up your nuts. Because we're finna come into some heavy times, man. Right. 
Let them hang. That's right. She's out the stomach, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That was it. Huh? Hey, but I don't believe with that. Lord, so what is that fine? We're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat, Ba'ashem. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone who were real well. And salutation and much love to the elect of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.